trees as well and therefore this is the importance of the industries now industries are of many types depending upon their uh, various classifications let's come to the classification of industries like first kind is based on the raw material now which raw material is they are using for example if they are using the agricultural products it is agro based industry then suppose if they are using minerals so they are uh, such kind of industries which are mineral based industries for example suppose iron and steel industry is based on the minerals itself so these are the uh, this is the classification like another classification can be like uh, the industry which are using uh, the products based on the animals hmm. like suppose uh, honey is made like this kind then uh, another classification can be like on the ownership like some of the firms are owned by the government hmm. there are called as the public sector industries some are purely government industries some are private sector industries some are ppp that is a public private partnership in which the government also or public uh, sector companies they have some share and the private people they also have some share and some are purely private industries which are owned by any person or a group of person now another classification can be like on the size of the industry like large scale industry medium scale industry small scale industry cottage industry uh, that depends on the amount of the finance that is involved and that involves among the, the how many persons are working over there and how big uh, the size of the industry is in terms of the area that is covered for example iron and steel industry that is the heavy industry Hmm, but suppose if the nut bolts are being made in any small unit that can come under the small scale industry or suppose if there are some persons are making <coughs> pickles kind of things uh, that comes under the cottage industry so these are the various classifications based uh, on the various type of uh, classification that we do now come to the next is the steel plants hmm. India needs steel plant as it is the backbone of the Indian industry. Okay, because most of the uh, things that are there, they require iron and steel. Whether you are making house, whether it is the furniture on which you are sitting, whether on the board, the sides, they need some kind of uh, iron or nails or everything. So it is needed everywhere. The ships and everything they need, everywhere. Even in the different industry, this is needed mostly. So therefore, iron and steel industry is very important. and it is basically having two type of plants one is called as the integrated steel plant and other is called as the mini steel plant what is integrated steel plant it is that type of steel plant which basically uh, has those kind of facilities in which they can prepare all right from just uh, from the ores they are converting into iron and then iron uh, from the iron they are making various kind of products that are needed by the market all in the one area so therefore it is called as the integrated steel industry now what is the advantage and disadvantage of it advantage is that all the products are there can be had from the one area itself but the disadvantage is that it increases the transportation cost and maybe that all the raw materials are not available over there since it is located one place only and suppose if it is to be transported iron is heavy so therefore it be, the product becomes heavy and as well as it may not be able to make all those products which are people needing so uh, what is the uh, alternative of it the an uh, alternative of it, it is called as the integrated plant, uh, mini steel plant now what mini steel plant is there it is small in size creates very less pollution it is located in the different parts of the country there they have the ready made iron or they are taking the iron from the wastage iron and they are processing it and making such kind of products that are needed by the local industry so what is the advantage of it produces very less pollution second reduces cost of the transportation third uh, utilizes the wastage of the local area fourth it supplies those things which are needed by the local people so that is uh, at much lower cost it is done so these are the advantages of the mini uh, steel plants now come to the uh, some of the uh, integrated steel plants in india so they are like the tisco like uh, then some of the steel plants are there in durgapur then raurkela then bhilai and these are uh, mostly the government owned that is coes of tata uh, owned by tata and uh, naturally uh, by these are very less answer is that they require very large amount of money they require the latest technology which other people do not have 
and they require very uh, trained people as well they require very large area to set up and that is why it is very difficult to set up so many of the integrated steel plants now come to the next part of this lesson that is the electronics the electronics <coughs> is the latest uh, industry which india needs why it is needed because in this latest times all the things they require electronics uh, whether it is the space exploration whether you are making satellites whether the rockets whether even you are using transistors radios computer laptops mobiles everything needs electronics and naturally to depend on the others it is not good and therefore india also has electronics <laughs> industries now some of the companies indian government companies which make these electronic products they are like electronic corporation of india limited like aptron and uh, various other companies are there these are the government owned companies most of the centers of the electronic industries are located here bangalore noida bangalore hyderabad and now they are spreading in the other parts of the india as well and these are making various kind of uh, not only the uh, components that are to be used but they are making the ready made products as well including the mobile phones televisions computers and other kind of electronic gadgets which are used not only for the research but for the education for the entertainment and for the various other kind of purposes as well and this is the importance of the electronics industry the last part of our this lesson is called as the petrochemical now as the name suggests petro plus chemicals that means these are those chemicals which are made using the petroleum products petroleum products are also called as the mineral oil because they are taken out from the earth but later on uh, after converting it into various uh, different kind of products like the naphtha like the petrol like the diesel and others these products are also utilized for making something some other kind of products and these are called as the petrochemicals and those industries which make these kind of things they are called as the petrochemical industry now they are mostly located near the refineries like mumbai like in mohammedabad uh, like in ahmedabad okay then uh, they may be in the states like maharashtra gujarat and other areas these petrochemical industries are located and they make various products like synthetic rubber like uh, polyvinyl chloride pipes pvc pipes that we are using plastic pipes simply which we say and many other products which are there from these petrochemicals including medicines and other areas also they require these kind of products so they are for they are very useful now what are the advantages they are ad advantages is that since they are making the synthetic kind of things like the synthetic rubber and they are replacing the natural things so they reduce the dependence on the nature they provide regular supply of the products and since they can be product produced at their own will as and when they want so therefore no shortage of the product is there and the production cost is also less so therefore these are providing a very wide range of products and uh, this is all there in these two lessons so i hope you have understood it very well yes